is cancelled. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly, but you guys know me as Jal Swoop Do, which means I can't sleep in Korean. Now, today has been a day. It has been a day full of drama and stupid decisions. So, if you can't tell, I have a certain stance on what's just happened. So, I, I was very inspired and I decided to make a custom shirt on a whim. So, if you didn't know what's going on, basically, this morning we found out that Cube Entertainment had made the decision to basically drop Hyuna and Edon from Pentagon off their label because they went behind their backs and decided to have a relationship which has spanned the last three years. I personally find it very hard to believe that the company did not know they were in a relationship if it had spanned three fucking years, especially when they're in a subunit together. So, having said that, a few hours ago, maybe two hours ago, there has now been a further statement come out where Cube has denied that they have made a decision and that what they're really doing is needing to have discussions about the future of the contract basically with these two artists. The most fucked up thing I find is the fact that Hyuna and e Dawn didn't find out about it until it hit the news and it went viral because all us fans were fucking livid. <laughs> so what I've decided to do is I'm going to be reacting to a compilation video of Hyuna and Pentagon's e Dawn for their cute moments. By It was done by Wannable back in August, early August this year. Now I, if you don't know, I'm a very, I have a very big personal stance on relationships in K-pop, they are human, they are people just like us, they have needs, they have wants, they should be able to date. If it is a serious relationship where there are serious feelings, their career should not come in front of that. You see celebrities all around the world continuously dating, having long successful relationships. To me, I don't think that K-pop should be any different. And it bothers me when it does become a problem because it's fucked up. That's my opinion. So I'm going to watch a cute compilation of all of their moments. Hope you guys enjoyed this with me. Link in the description for the original video as well. Lego. Make sure this is on HD because I want to see this shit in good quality. Let's go. Oh. She's so pretty. Poor Huey. She's getting so shy. <laughs> oh. They are so cute together. How can you not like them together? They look so happy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, they're so adorable. She's holding her hat down. Make sure she doesn't lose it. <laughs> <laughs> she knew. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. How did I miss 
that in the live stage. Oh, this is so cute. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize she was leader. <laughs> oh, their flirting is so adorable. Oh. So adorable. I miss you. No. No. I can't do this. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would be too. Oh, Huey. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very diplomatic answer. Oh, they are such an adorable couple. Ah, oh, she's so pretty. Oh my god, that outfit. Their outfits. Why is she so gorgeous? It's not fair. Oh, the way they look at each other. There's so much of, like affection and love. How can you? Oh, how can you be so negative towards something so beautiful? Like. <laughs> oh my god, what the f That was really cute. I really liked that. So that was me reacting to some Hyuna and Idon moments. I when I when it was announced that they were in a relationship, I was so happy. I love seeing the people that I look up to, that I follow musically, being happy and in relationships. Given that a lot of them write their own music, they compose, they produce. I feel like that relationships are something that comes hand in hand with writing lyrics. If you're writing about life experiences, whether it's love, relationships, or just life in general. So, I don't understand why it became such a fucking big deal. Um, I don't think they should be kicked out or their contracts cancelled. Really, like, my understanding of Cube, Cube Entertainment is Hyuna is like the face, basically. She is one of the queens of K-pop and has been for many, many years. Ever since she was debuted with Wonder Girls and then she went on hiatus and then she came back with 4 Minute and she's had all her solo things. Like, Hyuna is such a big part of the K-pop industry and she gets so much hate which is not deserved. She's a beautiful woman. Edon is a beautiful person. He's a beautiful man. They make it, like, they just, you can see when they are interacting with each other that there's a lot of love and affection there. And you know what? If they were to break up, then who cares? Like, that's their personal thing. I understand that as part of being an idol, you sign up for certain things. And yes, in the first few years of being new to a contract while you're training, I can understand why there's a rule of no dating because the company really wants them to focus on their vocals, their training, their acting. They don't want them to become distracted. But when you're getting to a certain age, like Hyuna is my age roughly, and like, you can't expect someone to never be in a relationship. That's, to me, that's just stupid. So this whole thing, to me, has just been an entire clusterfuck. I really hope Cube gets their shit together and decides either if they are going to kick them out, Hyuna and Edon are better off without them because that's just fucking stupid. I feel really sorry for Pentagon because that's not fair to them at all um, because Edon is one of the members and they all have a specific relationship with amongst the members that to just 
Firstly, they put him on hiatus because he was in a relationship and he had to apologise for it. Still blows my mind. Now they've kicked him out when they didn't tell them. Like, I just... It's either they both leave or they get kicked out and they go and do their own thing with another company, which kudos to you, more power to you, because if they're that willing to drop you for something so stupid, then why not? But having said that, I would also like them to reconcile it because I don't want Pentagon to be without a member. I don't think it's fair on Pentagon or Edon to kick him out. With Hyuna, it's a little bit easier because she's a soloist now. She's already, her group has already disbanded. So, you know, like that's a thing. I think Q would be stupid to drop Hyuna. I think that that would just be a really bad business move. And you can see that because it's negatively affected their stocks, like their shares. So why? I'm going to stop there before I go on to another whole thing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the video. Not necessarily, probably my comments, my little rant and rave. Um, I love you guys. I hope you're having a good day and right wherever you are. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll be putting out more content soon. I do it regularly now, which is great. I'm having a blast. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Do the shit, my skin again. Do the donate.